Yes, we volunteered for it was uh, very enthusiastic and not what you would consider in top fighting trim Good job. and he was fine the first half of the race he was on top and when we got to the other side and we switched positions he couldn't crab walk so what he did was he just <laughs> slid his butt on the floor he was wearing sweatpants oh, no. This is probably a good time to point out underwear is not optional in anime comics. No lie, he was going this way. So we got done, finished the race, and he stood up and went, yes! And mooned the entire audience. Except for my wife who was standing in front. So this is why I asked about wearing shorts and underneath your outfit, because the, this is not a full moon kind of convention. <laughs> we have, where are we at on points, dear? We're tied. We are not tied. Yes, That's we are. Yeah. Really? They tied the first contest. They won, they won, they won, and they won, and now they're tied again. <laughs> All right. yeah. What that means is we have one final contest Go for to death. all the... Oh. <laughs> are into this. <laughs> They're hanging on. So, what we need is this for our final contest. We need three people from each team to come up. And again, preferably three that haven't participated before. If you have already, that's that's fine. Are you on this team or that team? Oh. You know? okay. Have you already been in an event? Get up here then. And you've already been in one. Stay up here, though. I'll, I need you for, for extra help. Okay? So we've got three. We've got... Hi. I totally missed you. I'm like, whoa. All right. So we have three from each team. If at all possible, these are going to be our contestants for the final game. But I need two people from each team to just help and be runners. And let me explain. Before you come up, I will explain. That's why I wanted you to stay. This is what we're going to do. Our last contest is Ninja Dodgeball. Oh. You've played dodgeball before. It's the game that you got beat up oh, in the altar yeah. school. Yeah. And if you've seen the movie Dodgeball, <laughs> you can dodge a ball. You can dodge a ball. Except we're not throwing dodgeballs. We're throwing throwing stars. So not the sword, kid. Um, these are actually latex foam, so oh. if you screw up, nobody dies. <laughs> so, the big difference between ninja dodgeball and regular dodgeball is this. As a ninja training exercise, um, when someone throws a razor sharp piece of steel through the air at you, your first inclination shouldn't be catch. this. Okay? So in regular dodgeball, you catch the paw. In ninja dodgeball, if you get hit, you're out whether you catch it or not. So your job is to dodge these, okay? And dip, dive, duck, dodge. dive, and dodge. So this is the halfway point that you're not supposed to cross the line. This is their side, that's yours. You are such a loser. So we're going to play Ninja Dodgeball. Three contestants. I want you to stay on the red line or in front of it. Okay, so don't go past it just because if you start running down the hallway, the game is taking on a whole new meaning. <laughs> what I need then are two helpers from each team, including you. You're going to be um, retrievers. 
like puppies. You have to rearm your team. When so, get because you. these are latex foam, but honestly, if you spend way too much time with them, you can actually throw these about 30 yards. Um, so they're going to end up going all kinds of places. So, gentlemen, thank you. Your job is to stay on that side of the red line. So when these get past them, since you're not supposed to catch them, you're going to retrieve them and give them back to them. Contestants, please don't get lost turning around, receiving the throwing, and turn your back on them. I thought we had a voice from above. <laughs> so, yeah, we have three different sizes. We have the really big one, we have the medium one that's closer to the, to the real thing size-wise, and a couple of the triangle ones. Now, do me a favor though, these are, these are latex foam. They were made by a guy, and actually we're, we're in Jefferson City. Has anybody mm -hmm. ever been to the Kansas City Renaissance yeah. Festival? All right, have you seen the area of Barbarian Battles? Yeah. The guy who used to own Barbarian Battles was named Jim. He was a great guy. Jim made these for us. He built the molds <laughs> for them, and he put these together, and he promised he was going to make us a whole box of them. So we'd have like 40 after he made the original eight for us. Um, tragically, right after he made these, Jim was killed in a car accident. Uh, he was going home on the interstate, and a drunk driver's van um, was going the other way, crossed the median and up onto his side and hit him. Um, and his widow and his business partner ended up getting locked into this huge legal battle and fighting over control of the of barbarian battle. The long and short of it is there aren't any more. So we could either just kind of keep these because they were the last thing he made, or I thought it would bring more honor to Jim's memory if we used them all over the country and let people hit each other with them. Well, yeah. But that way, don't, don't bend them and flex them because they're starting to get old. You see, this one's missing a tooth because somebody got overly enthusiastic. and Well, actually, they were nervous. And they were just twisting it back and forth before the game started. So you can throw them hard, but don't do the bend and snap thing with them. Now, we have three. We should probably do this by size. <laughs> well, I was going to do it backwards and give you the big one, but it's what? How is size sexist? Size isn't gender specific. Stop putting labels on me. Don't judge me. I self identify as a platypus. <laughs> is the platypus your spirit animal? It makes the most sense. Patronus. Oh. Right. So, now in the heat of battle, it's very possible you could get hit by one of these and not actually know it. So, if you're in the audience, if you see somebody get hit, by all means, call them out. Help me, because I'm getting old. You're really quiet on that part. You're supposed to laugh and mock me. <laughs> no. All right. Are you guys ready for this? You know the rules. Don't catch them. You're going to dodge and get out of the way. Or you're going to die, which is also a deep. All right. On your mark? Get set. Dodgeball. Oh. 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 Big guys out. All right, and young lady, you're behind the line. Get up here, oh, yeah. cheating thing, you. Oh, Are we down to one? Really oh, 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 oh. Two on one. Oh. 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 Kill her. She's good at it. She's making it. Kill her with fire. Close. Aim for the torso. Center mass, yeah, look at the eyes. No, I'm going for the eye with the knife. <laughs> so there's two right there. Yep. Oh! oh. 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 oh